the K3 power supply was another example of the who knew thing that, that has happened with uh, the design engineering of, of this project. Who knew that a DC power supply could make such a big difference in the overall audible performance of this turntable? When we started this project, we knew that we would need, I think it was a DC 12, 13 volts um, to power this turntable. The controller, it's an incredibly sophisticated controller which we had to program that tells the motor what to do. It requires uh, 12 or 13 volts DC. Now, you could actually run this turntable off of a wall wart, you know, the same thing that you plug into the wall for your, you know, a, a electric tea kettle or something. Um, but, of course, we weren't going to use a wall wart. So we started out with laboratory grade linear power supplies. We weren't even going to try switching power supplies. But then we started to wonder if we got more exotic, whether we would hear any differences. I also wanted to find out, for example, would a, would a big battery sound better than um, a linear power supply? And um, that led us to choke regulated supplies to uh, every possible thing we could think of that would create um, the amount of um, current we needed, you know, 12 volts, 13 volts DC. And um, my lead engineer tech on this, Doug Eisenman, who was in charge of, of the build, came up with uh, an idea. He said, you know, back in the, the, the you know, before solid state, these xenon gas tubes were, were used to rectify, to give you DC. He said, I wonder if a xenon gas rectifier would work and how it would sound. And he said, oh, and you know, they're really cool looking. They make this cool purple glow. And he didn't tell me it flickers, which is even cooler. So I said, well, look, just try it because we want to try everything. And it was absolutely remarkable how much difference this, this DC sounded from all the other DCs, all of which would measure the same. Why we're hearing the difference we're hearing, I don't know, but it's not important. The important thing is, is the, the result. You know, we were trying to redefine what, what vinyl playback could be, should be. And this power supply got us there. It's expensive as hell to make. Big, big power transformer. Um, the case is, is very, very heavy. It's cast iron and uh, 3D printed sand molds. Beautifully made. Okay, it's sitting on the floor. And that's actually one way of, of, of having this. Michael Fremer. He has all these racks with all this other equipment. He didn't have room for this stand. So he has the outboard power supply, you know, powering the turntable. This is on a shelf below this, and that's fine. But we also offer this built into the stand. And I'm going to do a separate video on the stand, and you'll see how this, will, how this goes in there. But um, another option is this is actually inside of here. You see the tube through the window, and that's, you don't have it.